So I spent about 30 minutes talking to myself. Uh, because I didn't realize my camera had stopped recording. So. Ugh. I don't know what all it caught. Ooh, that one's a little tight, right? Ooh. I don't know if these are reverse thread on this side or not. What do you guys think? downside to having a small shop. Well, not the only, but... One of them. Again, I don't know if these are reverse thread or not. Last one came off like a champ. Ow. Never hammer on a steering rack, just FYI.
Again, don't do that. Two things happened there. Again, we demonstrated that heat will loosen up metal. Two things screwed into each other. What we also did was show that when this expanded, it took up that little bit of space in there that was allowing it to strip. So, and you can see it's got a tapered edge across the very front down here. So, make sure you get that bad boy all the way back as far as you can to grab a hold of it. So. To be honest, guys, I'm hot. Uh, but, invaluable tool right there. If you ever find yourself in a pickle, that's the tool right there. So, uh, this has to go back to the parts store today. Uh, so generally I try and stop working in the shop by about four or five, uh, just so I can go in, get cleaned up, get a shower, uh, let the dogs run for a little bit, uh, get dinner started, uh, and whatnot for my wife when she gets home from work. Uh, so, I don't know if we're going to film anything else today. And this will probably be about three different videos, part one, two, and three. They'll be labeled. Uh, I don't think that airbag is the same one that's on the other side. It's almost like that side has a 2600 and this one doesn't. Which would be weird because, well, no, that makes sense because this side always sags. This side's always lower in the front than that side most of the time. It must have blew one and then somebody just threw that one in. So we may look into that. I have, I have more 2600s. So we'll have to see. But as you can see, this has all tubular uh, DJ something or another arms I don't know uh, no shock mounts though which is odd so we'll probably do that ball joint while we have all this apart and then tie rod ends and sort out that bag because I don't think that's the right bag so let me box all this up and we'll figure something out